In this tutorial, we are going to learn about merge cells. Okay. Sometimes you may want to center a piece of text over several columns or rows. This is especially the case when you want to give a title to a section of your worksheet. This can be done through merging the sales. And for merging the sales, first of all, select the sale you want to merge. Like I have here a worksheet. You can see that my text overlap the second cell, B1 cell. So I'm going to merge these sales. So the my so my title will be good. Okay. So what you have to do is first of all select the cell which one you want to merge or a group of cell. Then click here merge and center from the alignment group in home tab okay simply click here and you will see that how nice it is looking now now i have a subtitle here so i'm going to do the same with this subtitle but this time I'm going to click on this arrow and here you can see that here we have another option the first option was merge and center which we have used for student mark sheet now we are going to use merge across this option let's see what will happen when we click this option okay merge across you can see that the, this uh, merge across option merge the cell but uh, the text remains in the left alignment so if you want your uh, text in the left alignment then you can simply select the cell group and click on merge across okay you can uh, center your text after merging by clicking here okay so don't worry about that and uh, let's see the other options like this is a merge sales so if you want to merge sales then select the group of sales then click the arrow button then merge sale now you can write here anything okay so as you can see that it is writing from the bottom so you have to change your vertical alignment first for writing from the top so let's select the merge select the cell and click here now you will able to write okay then click the alt enter button from the keyboard to for a next line okay so this is how you can merge cells and uh, one more thing if you want to unmerge this cell in any case then click on this button and click here on merge cell so it will come back to the previous format okay and uh, one more thing to you should know that uh, the after writing if you want to merge your sales then look what will be happen like like uh, i have written these text in my sales and now i am i want to merge this sale okay so i selected the group of sales now i'm going to click merge sale it is showing some error that uh, the section uh, contains multiple data value merging into one cell will keep the upper left most data only and when i will i click ok button 
you can see that I have left with only 23 and the remaining data has been deleted so this is uh, so you should take care that uh, first merge then write otherwise your data will be deleted so let's on merge cell so this is on merge or you can press ctrl z to get back your data okay now let me show you an example another example all borders now you will recognize better that what these things are happening like select all the cells and click mars and center select this okay and then click on mars and center so you will see that this is the uh, this merge and center option works in a row and uh, when you will select it select uh, these three cells heading okay and uh, the second option second option this is a merge across the so it is same as mod center now let me show you this mod cell so as you can see that uh, here we are able to find out some difference between these but if you will see a, an example like uh, i have showed you previously you will able to understand the merge cells option <coughs> okay so let's delete this okay and one more thing that after merging uh, the cells the this uh, I mean to say that it converts your all selected group say all selected cells in one cell it means that when you will go to and uh, search for a1 it will select only this one and uh, if you are going to search for b2 then it will select this okay or if you are going to b1 then it will select same as a1 so now this cell should known as a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 or f1 but basically uh, in a practicality this cell known as a1 okay so take care about these things i hope you understood what i'm trying to say thanks for watching this video